Hello from 538's makeshift newsroom, Galen Druk here. We're starting to get some early results in Georgia. They look good for Democrats at the moment, but we still have a lot more of the day of vote to come in, and so we really can't draw any conclusions yet. While we are waiting for more results to come in, we do want to take a look back at how voting went throughout the day today. And here with me to do that is tech and politics reporter Kaylee Rogers. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, how's it going? Going well. So we know that a couple things are, are surrounding this election. One, that there is a partisan split between early voting and day of vote voting. We also know that there have been some misinformation or disinformation campaigns surrounding the voting process. You know, what kinds of uh, ways of voting are secure or favorable? Um, the president has talked a lot about and given voters false information. So first, I want to talk about uh, day of voting today. Were there long lines? Did machines break down? What was the process like for people who were voting today in Georgia? Right. So for day of voting, it was actually pretty smooth sailing. There were reports earlier in the day in, in one county of machines that did shut down. So they switched to their emergency backup paper ballots and people were voting that way until they could reboot the machines again, which they did do. And since then, I haven't seen reports of any other major issues or very long lines. There were some local reports of, of lines getting a little longer, waits a little longer later in the day, but nothing that seemed out of the ordinary. Okay. And we also know that, like in November, there's something of a partisan split between people who voted early or absentee and people who are voting day of. Why is that? Is it, you know, just personal preferences? Uh, is it, you know, does it link back to the president's crusade against mail voting? Yeah, I think it's interesting to see that shift because traditionally, as you know, you know, the people that voted by mail or voted absentee were usually older and, and tended to lean Republican. And that sort of shifted this year as we saw Trump continue to criticize the USPS, continue, continue to criticize mail-in and absentee voting as an illegitimate form of voting. That spurred a lot of people to want to just vote in person uh, to make sure that their vote counted. And, and they felt a little more secure about that and wanted to, to take that approach. You cover the misinformation and disinformation beat um, have you seen significant misinformation or disinformation circulating surrounding the election today? Yeah, so I mean, we kind of expected that Trump might fire some missives uh, because of his ongoing kind of campaign to delegitimize the general election. So, you know, it's kind of expected that he would do the same thing today. And of course, he did. He mentioned those machines going down but kind of overemphasized it and, and made it sound much worse than it was, as if it was an ongoing issue across many counties, which wasn't the case, and made it sound like this you know big, horrible thing where it was suspicious that these machines were going down. When really, you know, it's an election day. There's a lot of moving parts. Sometimes machines have to be rebooted. It's a totally normal thing. And do people who had to use those paper provisional ballots have any reason to worry about whether or not their votes will count? Not at all. So Georgia uses machines that uh, they're touchscreen machines, but then they mark a paper ballot. So that's just kind of eliminating one of the steps and having people mark it themselves. And actually, hand-marked paper ballots are considered the most secure way to vote. So people who use those ballots should be confident that their vote is still going to count. Well, thank you for that update, Kaylee. And of course, we will watch as more results come in. But until then, thanks a lot for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. And make sure to subscribe to 538 on YouTube to follow us as we continue to cover the runoffs in Georgia throughout the evening. Take care.